we would all love the walls of our home to be filled with original art, it's the price tag that makes us hang back a bit. But if you have a small desire, start small. An art collection can be had on nearly any budget. Artist Annie Blake is here to explain how to own more originals. It's great to have you, great to meet you. Great to be here. So give us a lesson in art appreciation, if you will. Why is an original piece of art so much better than a copy or a print? So prints are great and affordable, but um, originals just have so much texture and life and um, energy to them. Um, you look at them up close and you can see the brush strokes and you imagine someone painting it and it's kind of cool to have something in your home that exists nowhere else. Um, and they're a really good investment. You know, most of the time, if we as the artists are doing our jobs, the art will appreciate and value, so. So then what is the solution for a poor but passionate art lover who wants to pull in more originals into their space? Um, start small. <laughs> Mini art. Yeah, yeah, a lot of, not all artists, but a lot of artists paint some really um, smaller sized art that's affordable, and we especially need to have a lot of um, markets and fairs where these things are available. Um, to people without going into int int intimidating galleries. So space. what's the intended purpose then of these tiny masterpieces? Um, I think of them as like starter collections. Ah. Um, I also just really like tiny things. Um, it's They're cute. They're always cute reasonable. in smaller form, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like messing with the scale of something that you're expecting to be bigger. Um, but mostly I like that they're more affordable and accessible to everybody. It brings in that original art appeal that you talked about, those, yeah. those strong design benefits. Um, and I think pride too, knowing you have a piece of original art in your home, but definitely more affordable as you pointed out. Well, how can we display these, Annie, in our home for impact? So they do get noticed and appreciated for the masterpieces that they are, even in small yeah. form. Yeah, um, my mom always says, that's cute, but what do I do with but it? But what do I do? Yeah, exactly. So I will show you. Please do. Um, my first favorite thing to do is on a bookshelf. Okay. Where you just have you know any bookshelf any size you can just add things in front of it so this is a small painting by Leslie Duke she's a still life painter from Utah um, and I also like if you have uh, a loose thing that you haven't framed yet you can lean it against um, the books and it displays it in a quick easy way and I think it draws attention to your books I often remember to read books that I haven't thought about in a long time because I'm looking at the tiny art it draws your eye in yeah isn't that yeah. interesting and beautiful and simple just to drop it right on an yep. existing bookshelf grouping great idea yeah. you have grouped a few here yeah so this um, shows I think the benefit of framing really tiny art so this is a six by six inch painting um, it's small and it's beautiful and it's fine as it is but if you put a very simple you know affordable frame around it it just gives it that much more impact so even if you buy something tiny and it, you don't want it to get lost on your wall framing is a really good way to make it have bigger impact in your house is there a certain size that qualifies it as mini art I don't think so. Okay, just depends on your interpretation I think of, of it that. Six inches or smaller, but you know, okay, depends six on inches the artist. Smaller. Can you add these pieces to an existing gallery wall here in Utah? We love our photo gallery yes. walls on our big vaulted ceilings in our living rooms. Can these accent those? Of course. Um, so here we have an example of how I like to use. Um, I do these really, really small. Oh my gosh! Extra small. This paintings. definitely qualifies as it's, mini art. Yeah, this one's two inches by four inches. That one's like an inch and a half oh my with goodness. a tiny gold frame. I mean, this is a compliment. It's like for a little Barbie house. I mean, yes. that's how small it is just to put it into scale if people yes, are looking at home. it's so tiny. Yeah. And I love, you know, say you have your big family picture or any other frame things you have in a gallery wall. That's great and beautiful. But if you put something tiny just leaning on another frame or on a nail, it's like a beauty mark on your gallery wall. It makes people stop and say, what's going on there? And they look closer and, again, just draws attention to the other things on your wall. That is my favorite line of the entire <laughs> week. It's like a beauty mark on your wall. And it is a very beautiful one at that. Really cool just to almost layer them. Yeah. Layer on yeah. top of existing frames or artwork. And this is a drawing by Katie Ann Gilmore. It's a, another example of how you can get affordable art in your house that's a little bit bigger. Go for drawings instead of prints. Awesome, awesome. I know you even like to put these in between doorway spaces. Yeah, in yeah. So you can take pick paintings this size, you know, small. If you have a little area between door jams in your house uh -huh. or a small wall in the bathroom, just put a row of paintings. And again, it just makes that space more special and you know, you look at the art as you walk by. It doesn't have to be over the couch or a big statement piece. So far these ideas, all brilliant, have been maybe for a living space, mm -hmm. sort of an arrangement. Take us to the bedroom. What could we do on a dresser, for example? Okay, so on dressers, or I suppose you could do this on a shelf for anything. Sure. I like to use, like this for example, is a paper piece by Leslie Kraut, and it's in a Beautiful. shadow box frame, so it's a little bit thicker. Or this cradle piece by 
Katrina Berg. It just has a thick board, so you can stand it on its own uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, and use it sort of more as a sculpture and layer it with other things. And again, teeny tiny. Look eyes. at those minis! I love this. is a sky piece by Robin Klontz, and this is another one of my small ones. And I think it just adds so much texture and. I don't know, it just looks great to add something little and tiny anywhere. You don't need extra space. Okay, how as an artist does it change your approach when you really are working with like a two inch surface? Um, so it's actually all the same steps as a big painting, just shrunk down and a little bit faster. So it's kind of interest, an interesting way to explore new ideas and um, you know, do things in a non-precious, fast way, and you end yeah. up with this adorable, tiny Oh my gosh, thing. it's precious, it really is precious. <laughs> I'm so concentrated on your ideas, I'm forgetting to gush over every piece of art, but oh, truly, each one you. is just stunning. Okay, the nightstand in our bedroom, that's kind of another, I think, tricky spot for at-home decorators. We have mm -hmm. a lamp, we know that. You suggest maybe putting some smaller pieces of art on the wall behind? Yeah, it's the perfect little tiny spot to put something special that maybe you'll look at every night before you go to bed or when you wake up. Um, it's an often forgotten wall space that I think can really be beautified by a little piece of art. Quickly, how can we care for these pieces? Um, keep them out of direct sunlight if possible. Uh -huh. um, you know, dust the frames and don't touch them because skin them. oils are not so good for Leave them be. Art. Where but can they we last forever. Original you talked art about lasts forever. that investment. <laughs> Absolutely. Where can we shop pieces like this this fall? Um, so we have great markets in Utah. The Beehive Bazaar is coming up and they always have great um, fine artists. Um, the Utah Art Market does the 135 show uh -huh. in November, on November 30th, where every piece of art in the whole show is either $100, $300, or $500. So you know going in that you'll be able to get something beautiful, beautiful for that small amount of money. Um, and do you, have a, do you have a personal website? Yeah, um, AnnieKBlake.com is where my art is, and also an Evergreen Gallery in Salt Lake. All right, thank you so much. Yeah. Beautiful art and great application for how we can pull these into our home. We appreciate it.